What I want to do is I want to talk a little bit about exponents and then introduce a new, a new exponent that we haven't spoken about yet. So let's go back and kind of review what we've already previously learned or, or have uh, found out. And let's just go with 2 squared. Okay. So let's just do it when we had an integer, right? First of all, when we dealt with integers, we figured out, well, 2 squared, that equals 4, right? Pretty basic. Then we started talking about negative integers. And remember, negative integers is when you're going to put that on the denominator. That e so that equaled um, 1 fourth, because it's 1 over 2 squared, right? 1 over 2 squared, which equals 1 fourth. Then we dealt with 2 to the 0 power, which we know that any, any base raised to the e is going to equal 1. All right. So now what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about what happens now if I have 2 to the 1 half power. So we know that 2 to the first power equals 2. What am I doing? That's the other way around. So we know that 2 to the first power equals 2. So then what is going to be 2 to the 1 half power? Hmm. Well, one thing is this is going to have to be, to do this, what we're going to have to, well, we already know 2 to the 0 power is 1. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to start thinking about this. It's not going to be just as simple as us picking a number and seeing what it is. Let's go and try to see. We know that 2 to the negative second power, that brings it down to the denominator, right? That's the same thing as 1 over 2 squared. We know that 2 to the 0 power equals 1. But what is going to deal with when we have 2? to the 1 half power. So what I want to do to talk about this is let's do a little operation. All right? You guys know that 2 squared equals 2 times 2, right? Yes? OK. So what about if I did 2 to the 1 half power squared? That equals 2 to the 1 half times 2 to the 1 half, right? And then what do you do when you have fractions? What happens when you have x to the m times x to the n? What do you do with the exponents? You add them. So what's 1 half plus 1 half? Equals 2 to the first power. 1 half plus 1 half is 1, right? So it's 2 to the first power. So what happens when you apply an operation and then you apply another operation that takes you back to what your original term was? Does anybody remember what, in, what operations we call those? Rhymes with pinverse. Inverse operations, right? So raising a power to the 1 half is the exact same thing as raising a power to the, or I'm sorry, raising a power to the 1 half is the inverse operation of squaring it. Right? Yes? Nope, the x is, nope. If it was x to the m times x to the n, it's x to the m plus n. And that's it. So you're not, it's not going to be two x's, it's just going to be one x down there. Um, so let's go and talk about inverse operations then for a second. So you guys remember this inverse operation. x plus 4 to the 16. What was the inverse operation you guys had to apply here? Minus, Minus right? If you're adding 4, then you have to use the inverse operation of subtracting. Good, nice little algebra, algebra 1 review for you. Then what about if I did this? x squared equals 16. Now what would be the inverse operation of squaring? Square root. But hold on a second. Um, we just said that the inverse operation of squaring is, is raising it to the 1 half power. Right? Isn't that, didn't we say raising something to the 1 half power? And, and then squaring it gives you the same number. And then if you square root something squared, that gives you back to the same power too, right? Yes? So what we're pretty much saying then is raising something to the 1 half power is the exact same thing as taking the square root. So if I gave you a number, if I did 4, to the 1 half power, you guys can plug this in your calculator if you want, 
that's going to be exactly the same thing as the square root of 4. These are equivalent. All right? So the sum I want you guys to write down, and here's what you're going to have. Here's your rule. b to the 1 over n is equal to the nth root of b. So you're going to want to write that down, Wendy, to have this in your notes. OK, this is going to be very, very crucial in your notes. b to the 1 over nth power is equal to the nth root of b. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when we write a square root, we usually don't write the 2 there. But there is a 2 that represents there. All right? The square root means what number multiplied by itself twice. right? That's the square root. So we, there is a 2 there. We just no, don't normally write it in there. Now there's one more operation I want to show you guys. What if I did b to the m over n? That equals now the nth root of b to the m. Huh? I mean, we're going to go over some examples. Do you understand, though, how the 1 half? Look at this. When I raise something to the 1 half power and square it, I have, they're inverse operations. When I square root something squared, those are inverse operations. Those just give you x, right? So it doesn't matter if I'm square rooting something or raising it to the 1 half power. You guys need to understand those are exactly the same operation, OK? And what I represent in these two boxes. So you guys need to make sure you have those written down for your homework and for the test that we will be taking so you guys have that information.